This is San Diego Pete for Post Ignorance, July 4th. Out here for Kevin today. He has been to come down here at the low tide. Uh, low tide peaked at 545. It's about 620 right now. Uh, the reef is not exposed today. It's, it's about as low as it's getting to for a while, so uh, I don't know when this reef might be exposed again. Uh, it might be November but when we get the really low tides. But uh, I'm just going to walk down there anyway and, uh, you know, give you a little dissertation on uh, San Diego and what's going on here today, Fourth of July. It's a little shaky, but you know, I'm walking down a hill. Tried to park at Tourmaline, just up here to the north. Uh, Six o'clock in the morning, Tourmaline Surf Park. Parking lot is completely full. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. So there's a lot of dedicated surfers out here. See where I'm pointed at right now is uh, is the reef in question, you know, where Kevin has shown you a lot of stuff. <clears throat> from last year uh, but like I said the reef is not exposed right now so the tide pools are pretty much unavailable right now but I'm going to walk out there it's about as far as I can go anyway see post ignorance is about for me it's about it's about participating with Kevin you know, if you just watch Kevin and you're interested, you believe in what he does, then, uh, you know, well, there's a little bit of reef there. I'm going to check it out. So, <clears throat> uh, but uh, for me, post-ignorance is, is very much a participatory thing. You know, I present uh, some of my poetry, and as always, it's organic. Uh, like Kevin's work, it is off the cuff, it is there and in your face, and uh, that's what I do. Um, you know, this earth is in big fucking trouble, you know. It ain't just Fukushima, it ain't just, uh, ain't just this political charade that's going on. Fucking Trump, fucking Obama. Fucking Clintons, oh my god. If you still buy into the paradigm, you're fucked up. Because the paradigm is fucked up. So, uh, we got pretty good low tide here, but there's really not a whole lot of reef out there exposed. There's a lot of space here. But, uh, we're gonna get what we can get. So, anyway, uh, so you know, I'm gonna tell you how I, I I I came in contact with Kevin. I was living in the Midwest, unfortunately, for a long time, and before I left the Midwest and came home to San Diego, uh, you know, I gave Kevin a call. He posted his number out there, gave him a call. We kind of set up a meeting. He came out to San Diego. Uh, me and Lori kind of hosted him. We both went down to the airport, tried to pick him up. Of course, he had already known Lori before me. 
and uh, and that's really kind of how it happened. It was very organic. I just called him and said, "Hey, dude, let's get together. I'd like to like to help you out as much as I can." You know, I don't have money. I don't have shit. You know, I have a car. I got a place to stay right now. I have for a few years. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, but you know, for me, post ignorance is a, is a participatory thing. You know, I want to participate with Kevin because, <clears throat> you know, the truth of the matter is, is that Kevin's right. The Pacific Ocean is fucking dying. You know, I've been coming out to these tide pools, and you know. This one I remember as a little kid coming down here with uh, with one of my uncles, and uh, I remember coming down here and walking on the rocks and cutting my feet up on the rocks because there was barnacles. <laughs> There's no more barnacles even on this on these rocks anymore. So, uh, but yeah, this parking lot right here is completely full. <clears throat> And this hill right here, back during World War II, was a uh, anti-aircraft battery. They had all these fucking guns up here on this hill. <clears throat> and they practiced a lot, made a lot of noise, from what I understand, I've read history. And they shot a bunch of ordnance out there. There's a whole shitload of metal out there, and probably other toxic shit that the military loves to play with out there in that water right there. I was down to Mission Beach yesterday, which is about about four miles south that way. And uh, <clears throat> I was hanging out. Uh, a friend of mine has got access to a place right on the boardwalk. and Sort of hung out at this house down there on the boardwalk. Uh, I wanted to maybe go in the water. The water's a little bit cold about 65, which is right on the edge of cold. I decided not to go in because, you know, Kevin thinks I'm crazy, but I, I, I like to enjoy the surf myself once in a while, you know. I'm a body surfer, I don't surf sticks. But, uh, you know, I can't live in fear of Fukushima. I can't live in fear of climate change shit's happening we have no control over it so you know it's about all we can do so anyway I was thinking about going in the water I went there down there to check the temperature and the temperature was a bit cold for me but uh, right along the edge of the water if you were to look here it's a little different here but if you look to the edge of the water a bunch of brown shit I didn't I've not really seen that before I've seen other shit in the water before, obviously. I grew up here, but uh, anyway, there's a bunch of brown shit in the water. Looked like fucking poo, and uh, I decided that I didn't want to go out there. But the waves are pretty good today. They've been good for the last few days. So you know, but Fourth of July. <clears throat> once I make this video and. Hang out with you a little bit and you know, give Kevin a call. I'll send this off to him when I get home. But uh, this is not exposed reef here. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but uh, it's just a bunch of seaweed and shit. A bunch of ocean detritus here. And a woman playing with a puppy in the bullshit. So, um, you know, right there where you can see a little bit of rocks exposed, right, right straight out there is where Kevin has done some of his most fantastic work. Uh, unfortunately, today, even with this low tide, not low enough, I can't get out there. Uh, ain't gonna happen, but uh, I'm showing what you uh, 
I'm showing what I can show you. You know, I could go up to the point up there. Uh, that involves uh, a bunch of rock walking and shit. And, uh, this is how I come to the beach. I don't like to wear shoes at the beach. <laughs> So, uh, so I ain't going out there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we'll just keep on going here and I don't know, see what we can see. I'm not sure quite exactly why all this uh, seaweed has chosen this spot. Water's a little warmer. See, Kevin would walk in here with shoes on. I, I just, I just can't see doing that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just a big pile of stuff here. Not really getting any, any rocks or anything. I could show you some more today, but it's just, uh, it's covered, you know. I think Kevin would have been a little disappointed if he was here right now, because uh, it's a m minus 1.5 tide right now, one and a half feet. But uh, not enough to uncover this right now. You know, 4th of July in San Diego is, you know, I don't know, it's probably very much like pretty much everywhere else. You know, people see a need to get outside and stuff. You know, uh, my personal view is, you know, well, if I can go catch some fireworks somewhere or whatever, whatever, you know. It's, uh, I just saw a thing on the news. They're saying that, you know, Every year, a billion dollars is spent across the country on fireworks. Of course, they had the stories of people blowing their hands off and shit, which is a real thing, you know. It's kind of like snowmobiles in, in the Midwest. <laughs> people die every year. So, uh, I'm going to keep going up here. I might be able to catch a little bit of stuff up here. There's some, some exposed rocks up there. I'm not going very far. Not going up to that point. It's PV point. This is right on the edge of La Jolla, so you know, right around the corner here. Well, this is basically La Jolla right here. Uh, um, right at Termaling, basically, is you pretty much start La Jolla. It's kind of a fuzzy area. Some people will call this PV. Some people will call it La Jolla. I call it PV. I'm an OB guy too, so you know. OB's a little more local, a little more organic, a little more crazy too. But uh, it's more my style, more where I grew up. It, up here in Mission Beach, Pacific Beach, it's, uh, it's pretty touristy. So, <clears throat> obviously, right now, this has got to be the longest video I've ever made for Kevin. I made a couple. But yeah, there are some rocks out here. Let's see what I can see. Hey, there's a there's a lobster, or at least part of one. The seagulls are a little mad at me right now because I'm taking up their space. They want to pick at this thing a little more. 
pretty big lobster too. This is what's left of it. Well, it's a pretty good sized lobster. So yeah, I mean, this is a little bit of tide pool action, but not a lot. But that lobster right there, my surmise is, since it has no tail on it at all, that somebody caught it out here illegally, probably, and ripped the tail off. Probably tasty, though. <laughs> I gotta say that. I fucking love lobster. Fucking good food. It's probably not the best thing for you to eat anymore. I still eat a little seafood now and again. There's a fish head of some sort right here. Is that more lobster parts? That's more lobster parts. Right there. Yeah, lobsters like this kind of stuff right here. This is where you, it's a good place to find lobster if you're looking for it. The fish, birds know it. They have a pretty good idea what's going on here. So. So I'm able to show you a little bit of stuff here. The fact is, though, uh, you know, any of this kind of greeny shit like Kevin talks about, it's all, it's all monster. There's more fucking lobster. There's been a lot of lobster out here. And this is a tail. At least what's left of it. A couple of tails, man. Killing these lobsters. I don't understand. Maybe the birds are. The birds are killing them. There's a lot of them out here. I didn't know. A lot of lobster. So, you know, this is reef right here that I'm standing on. It's rocky reef. It's not slippery. There's a lot of grass on it, shit. So I'm cool with my bare feet. There's a little bit of human detritus. A little, oh, they're a little slippery. But, uh, you know, kind of out here looking for, I think Kevin was talking about the sea slugs or sea cucumbers or whatever they're called. And uh, so we'll see what I can see out here. This isn't entirely comfortable for me. Um, it's kind of uneven. A little slippery in spots, it's not really. But, uh, you know, I really can't show you much because we're underwater here. This is exposed. Be a little more fun, I think. But it is pretty rocky. You know, but there was a point in time years ago where there were, that's a fucking Cheeto. Uh, there was a point in time in the past here when there was uh, starfish out here, at least on some of these rocks probably. Oop, cut my toe a little bit. But, uh, about as good as it gets here today, I think. Uh, I doubt that I'm going to really show you much other than the lobster pieces. A couple of seagulls. I don't want to make this video too long. You might get bored with me because, uh, well, I'm just not Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is uh, Kevin is on on chemo on Balco, you know. And if you don't understand that enough by now, you don't know what that means yet. You know, you're sort of halfway following Kevin. <laughs> it's uh, you know, when you see colors like that in the ocean, that brown shit, that didn't come from the ocean probably. That's some kind of 
mix of human shit or something. But the seagulls are a little pissed at me, I think, because because I'm kind of invading your space. But uh, you know. So, like I was saying earlier, you know, about uh, about participating with Kevin in this thing, you know, call him, you know, tell him what you think, tell him what, uh, what you know. He doesn't know everything. Um, don't try to feed him any bullshit, no, no political bullshit, fuck politics. Politics is a fucking joke. No more time for politics. No more time for violence. You know, because that, ultimately that's what what politics becomes. You know, it becomes a bunch of shit. You know? There's a bunch of heat engines in this world, and one of them is called humanity. You know. One of them is called Fukushima, about 6,000 miles directly as I point my camera right now. My little uh, iPhone 4 picked up off my dad. It's not hooked up. I'm just using it as a camera. But, uh, you know, it's pretty beautiful. I mean, this is a very high-end real, real estate right here. But, uh, Yeah, so that's about what I can show you for tide pools today. There's our there's our head of lobster there. A little lobster thorax. And again. It's done dead. So anyway, uh I'm gonna sign off. The Capri by the Sea. Yeah, when I was a teenager, my dad was a high school teacher, so he had the summers off generally. A lot of times he'd go out painting with my uncle and stuff. But, but he was a high school teacher, and uh, right down here about, I don't know, a quarter mile or whatever, half a mile, right before the pier actually, Felspar Street, that's where we hung out, Emerald Felspar. And uh, we'd come down here and spend all day at the beach. I'd drag one of my friends along and, you know, smoke cigarettes and pot, drink Cokes and shit. And, you know, fucking pot in San Diego is wide open anymore, man. Whoa. And pretty much smoke it, and people do, pretty much anywhere now. It's crazy. But, uh, you know, it's better than alcohol. So, the, di the dissertation is this today, I, I think I can sum it up, is that, uh, you know, our planet's in big fucking trouble, you know, all the nuclearism, you know, that is one he did, you know, and all the other things uh, with the climate, what's going on in the air. There's some really freaky shit happening now, as far as weather. Um, you know. Some people say we don't have very much time left. You know, uh, 
as far as uh, you know the mean temperatures uh, you know two degrees over the uh, pre-industrial mean two degrees Celsius uh, it's a big fucking deal and there might be some tipping points you know the more the more uh, carbons we shoot into the air with our airplanes and our cars and our factories and and then we've got methane coming up out of the Arctic because it's melting. So it's a, it's a mind fuck. It's too much for any one person to deal with. Um, and you know, to be woke in, in this world right now, to be have some have some understanding is it, it's not real easy. You know, to have an understanding of what's what's going on with the planet. You know, I'm not a scientist. I don't know exactly, but. I'm a smart guy and I can read, you know, and I do. So uh, I encourage you to do the same, you know, but don't buy the shit that you see on CNN. Don't buy the shit you see on CBS. Don't buy the drum beat for war. Peace and love, babies. Out.